Fountain prints are a really fun way to create a unique shirt with a vibrant mix of color. You can get so many different effects by just changing your print stroke or the way you lay down the ink. I was chatting with the screen printer on the phone the other day who was really blown away by fountain prints. It's a common technique, but there's a lot of creative ways to enhance this look and achieve different effects. A basic fountain print is simply putting multiple inks on one screen and printing them in one stroke to create a sort of color gradient between each color. I'm going to take a dollop of ink from each color and place it on the screen. I don't want the colors to touch each other just yet. I'm also not going to place a lot of ink on the screen. Once the colors blend together, I can't take that ink out of the screen and put it back in the bucket. Now as I begin to print, I'm going to keep the squeegee in the same path as much as possible with each stroke. The more I print, the more the colors will blend together. I'm happy with how the gradient turned out, but if I wasn't, I could just clean the screen and start over. If you mess up and need to clean the screen, put all the excess ink into a new mix bucket so you can potentially use that ink somewhere down the road, like to mix gray or black. If you're printing one or two shirts for fun, Testing isn't as important. If you're printing a large run of fountain prints, you'll need to get the print as perfect as you can before starting production. Unlike other prints, fountain prints are really hard to maintain consistency. Every shirt will be a little bit different, but that makes each shirt unique. You can print a large run of fountain prints, but you have to be very consistent with each squeegee's pass. Since I'm just printing a couple of these, I'm not going to worry too much about that. If you have a customer that's asking for a blend like this, make sure they understand and that you communicate that everyone will be different. After printing about 10 shirts, you might notice the blend starting to get a little muddy. Your inks can blend too much over time. Cleaning the screen and starting again is your best bet when this happens. There is a link in the description if you need a refresher on how to clean up a screen on press. Now that we have done a basic fountain print, I'm going to experiment a bit and see what I can make happen. For this one, I'll place the ink in the middle of the screen, put the squeegee in the center, maintain good pressure, and move it in a circle to get a swirled effect. Then do a print stroke to finish it off. You end up with a sweet swirl of color, but the downside is you have to clean out the screen each time to get the same effect. It is kind of a pain, but it can look really cool. What if I move the squeegee in a wave pattern while pulling it down the screen? This time, I'm going to add a bunch of little dollops of colors all around the screen. The order doesn't matter because I'm not trying to create a gradient. Let's see what happens. So doing these blends was very fun for me. I liked experimenting. I've done blends before, but in a linear fashion, just up and down. So some of these where I was able to mess with going in a curvature of some sort or trying to go in a circle or marbling, I, I just thought it was super fun to do. And I actually really like some of the results. Uh, my favorite is probably gray and white. Looks very cool to me. It's kind of my style. Not only did I have a lot of fun trying out these fountain prints, but ended up with some really interesting mixes of colors. Some of them are better than others. Play around with colors and the print strokes you use and try to create something one of a kind. It doesn't always have to be about production. Sometimes it can be about creativity and just messing around. Have fun with it and try something new. Tag us on Instagram or Twitter so we can check out your prints and possibly repost them for others to see. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of this content. We'll see you in the next video.